Um, uh, first thing is, well, one, I want to acknowledge this, the outcast theme. I wanna, was thinking about that, and it does come in to the work stuff in a minute. Um, but how? Right. Um, who feels, who identifies as this, a bit of an outcast? Yeah, that man, that man, that, yeah, that woman. Yeah, only three people. <laughs> right. Oh, there's a few more showing up. Like, go on, yeah, go on. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. Uh, it usually means you've challenged yourself in some way, that you've uh, voiced something that people didn't like. And what happens is then people say, like, no, 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 that's not acceptable. You have to go away now. And then what happens is you go like, oh, okay. You open the door and you step outside, and there are all these other people who did the same thing. <laughs> and they're really sweet. And you go like, oh, actually, I quite like it. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually quite a nice place to be. Um, right, so now what else? Um, first time I've done uh, poetry with a t-shirt on instead of a button-up shirt. Um, the t-shirt is um, is um, got a word on it. You might not be able to read it, because it's backwards. Oh, you got it, right, okay, it's backwards. Um, you get a lot of motivational t-shirts these days. Uh, what happens is I suggest you buy one whether it's written backwards. The motivational message is written backwards that way. When you put the t-shirt on and check, your, check yourself in the mirror before you leave, you get the message. And that's why I love this t-shirt, it's my favourite. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to read the three things and I'm going to give it, I try not to give it too much context, but tonight I'm going to give it a lot of context. Um, the first thing is a poem that I wrote, it's the second time I'm reading it, other poetry evenings do exist. I'm sorry, but this isn't a world premiere, but it's the second, and I hope the best. And um, that's by me. The second thing I'm going to re read, it'll become apparent, this doesn't make any sense right now, but stick with me, there is a, a plot. The second thing is, is it, um, a poem by somebody else, and it features in the first poem that I wrote. And the third thing follows on from the second. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Excuse me a moment. No, not now, I'm just thinking. It. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. No. Yeah, I agree. All telephones should be like that. We can have a much happier life. Okay, now, um, I can't read anything, sorry, pardon me. Don't fall asleep yet. I'm getting to the good bit. <laughs> oh, like, oh uh, yeah, there was another thing. Three of the five people who won the, um, well, actually four of the five people who won the raffle are personal friends of mine. So if you want a, a sneaky advantage next time, uh, get to know me better. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, right then, this one, I'm, um, first of all problems, I have a lot of trouble sleeping lately. And um, I thought I'd write a poem about what happens in my brain just before I fall asleep. Um, the poem is called The Poetry I Think About When I'm Falling Asleep. And it features poems and music that pop into my head just as I'm trying to fall asleep. If you get any of them, if you recognize any of the poems, talk to me afterwards if you're correct. I will congratulate you on being very smart. Here it goes. The poetry I think about when I'm falling asleep. She sleeps cold, buried in the covers, fast asleep, her face pressed in my back, breath from her nose. Summer ends now. I sleep warm, arms out, leg out, pulled high onto the cool side of the pillow. Takes ages, can't sleep. Curtains pulled wide open to see the moon and the trees. How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. Here we will sit and let the sounds of music creep in our ears. A series of sustained chords from woodwind and strings. The violin enters. He rises and begins to round. He drops the silver chain of sound. The lark. Summer ends now. Now, barbarous in beauty, the stooks rise around. Up above, what 
wind walks. And round him, mistier, farther and farther, all the birds of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire and Monmouthshire, Carmarthenshire, fading into blue with one grey glimpse of sea, the lark breaks free, the orchestra fades. Lift us with him as he goes, till lost on his aerial rings and willow, willow herb and grass, soft stillness and the night become the touches of sweet harmony.